Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to do a fun little science project. Uh, I guess this will be like an audio mythbuster. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you kind of the, the experiments I did, uh, I guess I guess it was two years ago, about dithering and uh, how I came to conclude that, you know, it's not really necessary, but, you know, it's always a good idea, I guess, kind of, sort of. So we're going to be looking at um, a piece of audio recorded at 24 bits uh, and then it did um, it you know truncated down to 16 bits with no dither and then we have uh, 16 bits with dither and we're gonna be looking at uh, the differences so yeah let's just uh, play the 24 bit version and then we have uh, it at 16 bit with no dither And I've chosen uh, the sound, uh, I've chosen this little piece of snippet of music uh, because it's pretty signy and, uh, you know, the dithering is kind of covered up with the high end, so we have just low end, so it's kind of like using a sine wave, but not really using a sine wave. I'm not an expert. And this is with dither. So I'm just going to go through them. Right, and uh, before I continue, I should point out that they it, they're all repitched at the exact same BPM that I recorded them at. Um, they're repitched just in case uh, maybe there would be some transpositional errors with uh, Ableton's warping, and uh, we can uh, yeah. So first we'll take a look. Oh, also there's no more dithering going on. So let's uh, take little snapshots of uh, each piece of audio. So uh, red, orange, and green uh, will be displayed on this graph. Uh, we'll just record one at a time and I'll wait for them to average out. So yeah, check it out. Oh, I might want to play since the beginning. There go. We'll wait for that to average out. Okay, that is red. We will reset the peak. And then I'll play this. And. There's our snapshot. And then we'll uh, reset the peak and we'll do green. So, if I remember correctly, how do I make you bigger? Okay, doesn't really matter. So, it's pretty much the same. 24-bit uh, has a, a bit more difference in headroom, so you get this sort of thing, but it's very minute. Um, where the real difference uh, comes from is uh, the white, the well, the noise that would be added due to dithering up here it is basically uniform uh, more or less the dithered and not dithered the, remember the red is a 24 bit the dithered and not dithered uh, are overlapping which is very interesting to me so yeah that's f like f food for thought hopefully that doesn't break anyone's mind so I'll get rid of that, reset, reset peak, what are you doing? There. So I want to do uh, something else. And I'll just show you uh, a little trick when you invert the phase. So we'll invert the phase of this. So we'll stack these up. I'll actually get rid of those. They were off, so nothing was happening. So if you have two pieces of audio with exact letter identical and you invert the phase with these two things, then you'll get uh, nothing. Right? So they're playing, but nothing's going through because each kind of waveform thing, they're flipped, so they're canceling each other out. And to kind of prove that, we'll go in 
instant. Nothing going on here. Right? Absolutely nothing. It's canceled out perfectly. That's the Ableton engine for you. So what we'll do is uh, it's, a, it's a quick way. I'll just uh, turn this guy on. It's a quick way to compare the dithered and non-dithered 16-bit whatever the doohickey it's doing. All right? So we will invert one from the other. And I'll just uh, kind of add that in. That's no dither. And we're going to mix in with dithered with the phase invert inverted. And there you have it. You're, this is what dithering is kind of doing. And uh, I guess it peaks at around negative 70, 72. Uh, and we see our, our noise shaping up here. Not even audible. Um, we can make it audible. Yeah, we'll make it audible. So I'll duplicate that. Raise the volume. So there's remnants of the track. But you hear the noise added by dithering. So what does that mean? Uh, that means that I guess the human ear were not as, you know, proficient enough to hear that difference. That's why uh, there's a big argument about dithering. Uh, dithering, you know, it, it, it's okay. I can't hear the difference. Uh, I doubt anyone watching this can. Uh, but it's always a good idea. Uh, it doesn't really affect much, maybe on the higher end. And we need more examples for that, obviously. Uh, but generally, yeah. And I can, I'll quote another video. Another video, it states that no one has ever ruined a recording by not dithering or dithering. So, yeah, just do what I do. Just plop an L2 on there and just use type 1 dither and it won't hurt. And we'll have a happy fun time. All right, hope you learned stuff and uh, take care.